Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, today I'm doing a quick video all about the uh, STAC mag pouches, which are what I choose to run on my uh, on my belt. So I've taken one of them off here and I've put on the alternative attachment method, being the mouse clip. Um, I normally run the uh, these clips here, as you can see, which are direct belt attachment clips. Um, I find they're a little bit more secure, but you do still get some wobble right there. But anyway, that's for another video. I've taken one off today um, to show you what kind of mag compatibility that you're going to get with an airsoft magazine. Because obviously these are not designed for airsoft, these are designed for real steel. So, let's start off with uh, some of the most common variations that we're going to get. So, look, here's a Glock mag. This one is actually from an AAP. Um, so in it goes, great retention there, it's not coming out. You can hear, and it's all done by, there's actually, there's no Velcro actually on this side at all, and it's just sprung, so there's actually only Velcro on here. It's just folded, and it's got a loop at the bottom, so Glock, that fits, excellent. FNX45, bit bigger, quite chunky mag. It does fit, you can see it bowing the sides. So it's, it's gonna fit. It's going to be really secure. Okay, what have we got up next? This is a Shadow SP01 by ASG. That goes in. Okay, so not quite as good, but it does work. Maybe if you're playing indoors or something, that could be okay. One of the most common guns here, High Kappa Mag. You might think with the uh, with the lips sticking out so high there, um, this might cause a few problems. Not so. Great retention on that. And bear in mind, this is only a 4.3 high cap mag. I do have some five ones, but obviously they'll just stick up a little bit higher than that. It's not bad. Next up, Beretta M92. All the way around there. Again, it retains it, but it's a little bit loose, yeah, not the best retention on there. Um, MP9, MP9 magazine again, pretty good, pretty good. The, you can see by the uh, the fatter ones how they how they work a bit better. USP magazine. This is a Tokyo Marie. Great, absolutely great retention. It slips out nicely as well. Just a little tug. There we go, really nice. Um, HK45, also TM. There you go. Not quite as secure as the USP, but uh, still very good. This is a CZP09, so a bit like the other one. Really similar profile to the magazine. Slips out quite easily. But there's pretty good retention on that. That's not bad at all. Okay. A uh, Sig P226. So there. Doesn't... Uh, pretty loose. That's gonna, that is going to wobble out. But you do get some retention on it. So maybe indoors. Maybe not for the woodland. Somewhere where you can pick it up easily. Oh look. I do have a 5-1 mag here. There we go. So just a different base plate. But... Um, and put tape to get slightly better better fit. That's a, another story for another time. So, and what else have we got here? This, okay, for all of those that, that still that will still risk running a Western Arms pistol out on the field, which um, I do sometimes for treats, uh, they also fit in as well. So, and have a really good retention because these mags are about... 70 80 quid a pop um so really not the kind of thing you want to lose so a good pouch for that next up right so we've got a couple of things that maybe aren't going to work um this is a co2 magazine um that came out for the we desert eagle oh i didn't actually expect that to fit okay <laughs> it's, it's, it's bowed out at the bottom um yeah, that, that, well, there you go, it fits, 
and finally got 1911 so for the Whoops, uh, there is absolutely no retention on this whatsoever. Um, so you get nothing here. <laughs> um, the reason is STAC actually have come out with a separate one with a with a smaller enclosure, um, sort of more like that, uh, for your 1911 style mags. So that would be for your 1911s, MEUs, anything of that, um, of that style with a really thin mag. Um, I don't actually have one. Um, Maybe I'll get one in future. I do quite enjoy running a 1911, um, especially with the with the longer mags. And they do also do a double, which is split down the middle, so you can actually hold two of these in each. It's something that you actually can do in this magazine. Uh, you can stuff two in, but again, it's, it's, it's probably similar to putting in one of these where you really are stretching it to the max. So I don't know whether that's gonna be good for the longevity longevity of it but it seems to be really well made I've had this for a couple of years the, the stitching on it is absolutely pristine so if you do get a loose end the best thing to do is grab, grab a lighter and, and just burn it off and and that will stop any sort of further fraying so I might do that up here where it's sort of and if you can see there's a little bit where it's sort of come off I'll probably just take a lighter to that and then I don't even know if I've got one around but I do actually have one There we go. And that's just sealed off nicely. Okay, anyway, I'll, um, I'll leave the video there, but if you've got any thoughts, let me know, and uh, I'll see you next time.